true hippie. Um, we have a show called Yes Another Sneaker Show and we here specifically on New Balance. I don't know if you guys know about the Great Day oh, yeah, yeah. thing that's been going on. Yeah. So yeah man, I'll just tell me who you are. When first did you fall in love with the brand? Uh, so my name is Sasai. Yeah. Um, honestly I could say I fell in love with the brand could be two years ago because of that man right over there, Struan. Uh -huh. like, it basically hustled me from Adidas and uh -huh. like, yeah I'm still ripping Adidas <laughs> and that. But yeah for shoes wise, he's been hustling me about the about New Balance and all that, yeah, so gotta go that side. I'm into New Balance because it's away from the norm, so it's good to be different. <laughs> yeah. uh, my name's Struan, um, I got into it because of like where I live, so now nah, New Balance is, the fit is good, the comfort is everything, what's so. Your, what's your guys favorite pair? Uh, it's probably, yeah, yeah but maybe my, ni my 998. I probably said between two, the 990 V5 yeah. and the 1500s. Oh, right, right, oh, yeah. right. And then in collabs, what do you guys yeah. think about like the collab stuff that they do? Oh, the Berlin City of Values. Okay. I've never seen that overkill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is probably Fun. that's See, the one. I'm they know more about new balance than me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> uh, collab. One of my favorite collabs might be the 998, the uh, the Keith collab, the City Never Sleeps back. Oh. That that yeah. one goes hard, yeah. That's sick. My fiance is sponsored by New Balance, okay. so I'm also affiliated with okay. them in a sense. Fine. So okay. my 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 connection to them is, is, is deep. So yeah, he bought me my first pair of New Balance, and I treasure them because they came from somebody I love. What is it that you love so much about the brand? What uh, it could be like quality, one hundred percent. They stand for quality, and that's what I stand for too. And that's also why I don't mind being New Balance head to toe because it stands with my values. Do you like? subscribe to like the global like sneaker culture in a sense that you have like a favorite collab new balance collab on a global level yeah i think i think it okay as a creative i don't subscribe to trends and things like that that's not like what i i like what i feel no. when did you start rocking like new balance i'm new to new balance still, i come from a different brand and then um, i'm still like a baby within the brand so i'm exposed to here and there here and there but the thing is ah, it got me it got me full bite like this it has been like that yeah and what would you like to see happening and locally like, for the brand what is it that you like to see from the brand for you to like stay supportive to say photo okay i'd say maybe collaborating more with the locals what i'd love from new balance is for them to establish like a worldwide store the online stores are helping a lot but i'd love to have the shit that they have in the u.s because I wanted, um, especially the, the X races. So the first time I saw these was on a on a US website, and then I was like, uh, I want those, I want those. So I wish that all the stuff that they have in the US and the UK, they could also, yeah, so that we can also have access to that. You know what I'm saying? Because I also want some of the stuff. Some of the stuff that's made in UK, made in US, they've got some dope stuff. But the thing is, we don't have access to them here in South Africa. We got a, a whole bunch of New Balance samples. Yeah. Um, samples. Yeah. One of one of the favorite ones is this one. Is, is this your favorite? This is my favorite out of all of them. Why? Um, I don't know. This this was probably one of the most viewed shoes on the website. Right. Your website. Oh, uh, on Sneaky Godel's website. I don't see New Balance displayed like you're doing it now. No, we've Tell got me you. your love for it personally. No, me. I've I've been a big fan for the 574s. Right. That was that was one of my favorite stuff. I had the one like the Springbok colors. Right. Um, I got a couple of, I got like a bottle green one that the other friend gave me. Right. Um, I got gang New Balance shoes. There was a book with Cameron. Mm. Then his son had the 574s, the grey ones, mm. with the strap. Mm. You understand? So yeah. I, like those are the vivid memories yeah, that I have yeah, with New Balance. Yeah, yeah. But um, the 574 has always been my favourite. You know, um, like even when we used to go, I used to go check with them out at the outlet. Mm. You know, um, but yeah. But they're classic. Like the 574 are like a classic silhouette for me. I mean, the 1500s are like quite a bougie yeah. kind of vibe. This is this is luxury. This is like for me, it's like luxury. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this one specifically. Yeah. I think we have the other uh, one also. There's two pairs. Uh, but you got the, the premiers. Wow, man. And why are they so expensive? Um, I think because of the finishing and that is crazy. Selection of five favorite pieces that are here. That are right here. Now. I think this is one of the, the ones wow. that stands out. This one. Okay. And then that, that rainbow joint over there. Yeah, I think that, 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 these are the ones that, 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 that are like on the oh, Which so one am I getting? getting these, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That's the, the set, so now you're getting these. <laughs> true, Google like, me. Okay. Roller Rose. Alright, cool. That's it. Roller Rose with the R. Oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like Rolls Royce <laughs> shit.
come on, man. Alright. Come on,